guys, it is me, Lysimer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Generations LP Part 25. So I am absolutely spamming you guys with Generations videos this weekend. I've been loving this gameplay so much. It's like the one gameplay I can't get enough of. Um, so if you guys are wondering where's The Walking Dead, where's Island Paradise, I will be uploading those during the week. This weekend, I've just been craving Generations and um, yeah. So, in the last part, we booked our, pl our, pl our, pl our plane tickets to France. And here we are uh, in France. So, when we arrived, we arrived at this little place right here. If you have world adventures, you know you arrive in the same place every time. So, we arrived right here, and of course, of course, the Fenderson family would not be complete without some weirdness. Uh, so, we have... <laughs> Jay in his army man little undies and his little Bob the Builder shirt. I don't know. So, yeah. Then we have um, Miss Penelope looking like a skank <laughs> wearing this around France. She's so pretty. Oh, God, it kills me. Luna looks pretty normal. And so don't Justine and Joseph. I have not played with World Adventures in so long, so I am... I'm really curious to see what we can do because I totally forget. I haven't played this, I think, in months, like maybe half a year, which sounds crazy, but it's been that long. So let's go ahead and, uh, well, we need to go to like the general store or something. We do need to go pick up some stuff, but we do need to make some money as well. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and sell, sell a few things like the stroller and that and we'll sell the camera for now uh the tablet because <laughs> we're broke currently and i do want them to have some extra you know spending money sell that random cake piece uh we'll give her she can have her kick bag i was gonna say we could sell the car but uh we do use that a lot um we'll just see if we need extra money i'll sell the car we'll be we'll be that that family um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and form a group. Or can we just click on the ground and say maybe come here with? Yeah, that's easier. Alrighty, so they're going to come over here to this area. Uh, this area has stores and stuff like that. They have like the general store, the food market. Um, let's see. The cafe, the bookstore, the relics, and the general store. Uh, so this is where they can do a lot of their shopping. Right here we have uh, the base camp where they can sleep and everything. So that's good to know. Good to know. Um, so we are going to go ahead and I think we need to go to the general store. I'll have Justine go into the general store and pick up stuff. <laughs> um, so we'll come in here and buy some stuff. I think what we're going to purchase is probably um, like a tent or something and we can have like a little tent out on one of our nights here. I'll have Luna. I'll, I'll have all the kids uh, go get something to eat even though they just got here and their hunger's up. Never mind. I'll have them. I will have the kids. Uh, let's see. What can the kids do? Actually, let's go ahead and check out our base camp really quickly. Uh, this is where we can sleep and everything, and this is awesome. It's free, so that's good. Um, lots of rooms, which is also good. And down here is a room um, that has a bunch of beds and everything. She wants to visit a cafe, Luna, so I might as well let her go visit one. What is, she, what is that? Buy an incense holder. Ooh, we might just have to do that. Alrighty, I'm going to have her just go here with uh, all of the kids. And Joseph uh, will shop around with Justine for a little while. But uh, Justine's going to come in here and buy something. Buy what we probably need for a whole three days here. Um, <laughs> I'll probably be doing a World Adventures LP in the future for sure, actually. For sure, I'll be doing one in the future. Look mm. So you're here with that big family, I see. Yeah, that's us. <laughs> All 
Sorry. Uh, we need a camper so we can buy a two-bedroom addition tent. Oh, they're so expensive. Oh, no. <laughs> a shower and a can. We'll, we'll get a couple of those. Um, let's see what else we have. The Kenspa, which is like a little scooter, and it's so freaking cute, and I feel like we should get one. <laughs> And we'll buy a couple of snacks. We'll get low quality so everybody can eat them. We'll get 10 of those. Actually, we'll just round it off to 1,000. Do we need that many? No, we don't. We'll just get 10 for now. And uh, I think what we're going to go do... Oh my gosh. A little boy soldier incense holder. 1,000. Penelope really, really wants one. So we're going to have to try to find some money while we're here. But, okay, we got some snacks and uh, some shower and a cans and stuff for the family. Um, we are going to go ahead and switch on over to them. Uh, they're over here in the cafe. I am going to have Luna go buy some food and have uh, all the kids come buy some food. Mm, poor Jay can't. Oops. Visit the nectary. That's what we need to do. Penelope cut her. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go ahead and... Hmm, what do we want? They're offering pretty much everything we could want. But we're going to order crepes. Or crepes, as some would say. Um, Penelope will get something else. She's so pretty. It kills me. Uh, she will order some... Hmm. What do I want Penelope to eat? I have no idea. I'll just give her <laughs> some crepes too, I guess. And Luna's over here like choking on her food. <laughs> Alrighty, so once they're done doing that, uh, what other stores in this area actually? We have the Relics, which I don't care about. Uh, maybe we'll visit there before we leave. But let me go ahead and see what he is up to. Joseph is in the bookstore actually, which is cool. Uh, here's the bookstore in France. It's pretty neat. Oh, it's about to rain. Let me go let my dogs in. Okay, I let them in. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and make sure the kids are over here done eating and I think we will go ahead and head to the nectary uh where is it I believe it's out in like the middle of nowhere <laughs> if I recall let's see there's a cemetery campground and the nectary ah <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and visit here oh that was gross <laughs> We're going to go ahead and visit here. Uh, these two will go here. Everybody needs to end up here. Go here. Go here. Go here. Um, so, yeah. I don't remember if there's actually taxis in this town. Um... I don't remember. Or I guess they all have their little scooters while they're here. But we bought one to take home with us. Okay. That makes more sense now. Alrighty. So they're all here at the Nectary. And, um, most of them cannot drink it. I'm pretty sure, right? Uh, we're going to go ahead and have Joseph maybe buy the cheapest bottle we can find um, because it can get pretty expensive, um, the nectar. Now, I don't know how long this part's going to be. I don't know if I'm going to make this more than one part. I really don't know. So, pretty much, the older the nectar, the more expensive it is. You can buy a nectar maker while you're here. But pretty much, um, the different types of nectar, this is kind of like wine. Older wine is more expensive, um, usually because it's, uh, I guess, I, I don't know, better. I, I really don't know. But we're going to go ahead and buy some pomegranate nectar. That actually sounds really good. And we'll also buy some grapes. Yeah. 
I don't know if he can eat those type of grapes, but I want them. Oh, he can. Cool. Uh, we'll serve the nectar later on. But we actually have a nectar machine over here, so I think we can make some nectar. The best type of nectar, or quote-unquote wine, is always, always in the basement. Um, is that it? We need more? Your bin needs to be full. Okay, we'll come buy some more. There's actually quite a few people here. We'll buy some more nectar. Uh, buy three more. I think we have to have ten. I don't know. Yeah, I think we need ten. Ten uh, grapes. So we'll go buy more. It is about to storm. Yeah, we'll take seven. We'll get an extra one. Alrighty. Add fruit. It is raining like no tomorrow. Alrighty. And we'll add them. Oh, I got the different type. Oops. Oh, well. There we go. And now we are going to squish some fruit and we can make nectar, but I want to squish it. <laughs> What? Luna Fenderson just drank the perfect bottle of nectar. Oh, I guess nectar is quote unquote, I guess not liquor in this game, but whatever. If you guys can hear the rain, sorry about that. Fabulous finish. The flavors of the nectar are so vibrant with fruits that the tongue is practically overwhelmed. Awesome. We all want an incense uh, holder, which I think would be an awesome addition to our house, is having some incense. <gasps> would be an awesome addition, you know, some incense burning while everybody's chilling at the house. I think that'd be really neat. Come on, Joseph, you got this. Alrighty, so now we're going to make some basic nectar. Yum, right? Yum, Luna liked it. <laughs> Awkward moment when you get a Skype call in the middle of filming. <laughs> um, what does Justine have? Oh, she has a bottle of, well, a glass of nectar as well. So let's see her reaction to it. No emotions whatsoever. Cool. Drink nectar older than 50 years old. Girl, we broke. Funny funny. Come on, Joseph, hurry up. Did you make your nectar? One year old Charmula Blonde Grapes Pomegranate Nectar? Is that what it is? I don't even know. Um, no, because that's the bottle we had before. So what happened? Is it making it right now? Is that what's like going on? I have no idea. So weird. I think that's what's uh, happening, and I'm actually, ooh, okay, cool, um, we're gonna come out here and harvest a bunch of grapes, Luna, stop drinking all this nectar, what can he do, he's like here all alone, oh, now he, <laughs> Jay is currently like the king, the prince of the nectary, cute, oh, well, there's another little boy here, so, oh, they're playing tag, Oh. He's making a little friend from France. Aww. He's gonna go learn a song. Maybe a French song? Cute. <laughs> Super cute. Alrighty, I think we can go upstairs and actually get our nectar now. Maybe not. Maybe it's still making the nectar, or maybe we broke it. I don't even... I don't know. Nope, we made it. Cool, 10 years old. Uh, Tremola Blanc Grapes Nectar. And he's drinking it right now. He just served it for everybody to have. So, Luna... Luna's using the bathroom right now. Not Luna. Um, 
not Luna, Justine. Luna Fenderson just harvested the Renault grapevine. The produce can be found in Luna Fenderson's inventory, and Penelope did the same one. And she's feeling pretty sick. I don't know why. Hmm. She must have ate something bad. But cool, they're getting some grapes right now, which is awesome. She's going to go use the restroom once she's done. Oh, are they not getting along now? Oh, come on. Trade local gossip. And Shaka Brahim. Say that's something from our land, I guess. Discuss adventures. Even though it's really not from our land. It's from Isla Paradiso. Whatever. Get to know him. Salute him. Because his dad is in the military. And he was also... No, he wasn't in Boy Scouts. What am I talking about? Cool. Everybody's just tasting so much nectar today. Nectar for days. Uh, cool. Name your nectar. This blended nectar is absolutely terrible. What would you like to call it? Oh, so we can uh, actually name our nectar, I guess. Uh, we'll name it... The Trip around no fender <laughs> fenderson's gone wild like rugrats gone wild or is it go wild either way Let's do it alrighty so joseph is gonna come over here and explore this purple water and see what that's all about right and we get back home we will carve some pumpkins and do fun stuff like that for fall but we're going to go over there and explore whatever the hell that is. Jump on in there. Ooh. Okay. I know this is like an exploration thing, but it's just kind of weird how... <laughs> Joseph just found 12-year-old Renault Grapes Plasma Fruit Nectar worth 122 simoleons. Could it still be good? Joseph has found the bottom, but he doesn't have much breath left. Joseph Fenderson is quickly scanning the area. Um, I know how this works. It's, it's neat. Um, there's a door back here, so let's go ahead and go through that uh, door back there. Could actually sell that if we wanted to, but we'll keep it for now. Let's go ahead and explore through this door. Was that door already open, or was it just me? Alrighty, we're going to go ahead and taste one of these and uh, see what that's all about. And uh, we'll read that. Joseph, are you seriously going to go all the way out there after you just had like some secret nectar? Are you kidding me? You're drinking secret nectar and you are going to do that? No boy, put that down. Drinking nectar makes me happy. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, do you guys hear that thunder? Oh, look at the little French boy in here cleaning up the mess we made. Oh, he has to vomit. He has to pee. Everything's messed up right now. Whatever. Where's Justine? Everybody's, like, having a bad time right now, like, wanting to vomit because they keep drinking so much nectar. It's later in the day now, so I think I am going to go ahead and have them head back to the base camp and maybe get some Z's for a little while. Um, Joseph will head back to the nectary tomorrow to continue exploring, I think. Um, but everybody else is going to go to the base camp. Um, you know what I'm curious about? Does Jay ride that little Kent spot like everybody else? I am really curious. I want to know. I'll let Joseph stay there a little bit longer. It is about uh, 7 p.m. for The Sims, so still pretty early. Let's see, who's, who's that? There goes Justine. There goes the, the girls. <laughs> oh, no, he's stuck with a little bike. And then everybody else, even Penelope, who can't drive yet, has a scooter. A little Kent Spa. How cute are they? I have one for when they get home. We'll probably give it to like, ooh, God. We'll probably give it to like Luna or something. I think she'd look cute on it. 
All right, let me go ahead and pick everybody's beds really quick. We will have Luna and Penelope maybe room together. No, they won't like that. They have to come closer friends, which is really sad to say. Justine and Joseph's room will be over here. And Jay, who's he closer with? Neither of his sisters. That's actually really sad. Um, we'll have him room up with some people downstairs. Actually, you know what? The girls don't need these huge beds. They can come down here and sleep with their their brother in this room down here. Why not? Right? They might as well. Alrighty, so let's go back to Joseph really quickly. And just go back downstairs and read that sign over here. Little French boy. So let's come here. Inspection certificate. This cellar has been, cer a, been certified safe and structurally stable. The next inspection required August 1872. Sorry if you guys keep hearing Skype noises. I had to uh, just get up and turn my phone on. Do not disturb. Um, alrighty. Let's go ahead and come in here. Joseph, you're on to something. You're on to something. All right. Let's go through this door. Ooh, that thunder, though. Joseph is like, where am I? Ooh, a treasure, treasure chest. <laughs> We're gonna come over here and open them. This might just be our way to money. Money, 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 as Mr. Krabs would say. Money, money, money. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and sell those. Selling you 300. <gasps> so ex oh, so old, but not worth money at all. Taking. Nope, don't serve it. Taking. All right, how do we unlock this? Uh, here, insert keystone. Hmm, keystone is acquired by playing adventures. I guess that's as far as we're gonna go right now. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and head home now, I guess. We got some nectar though that we can actually sell uh, for some money. We're just gonna sell all our nectar. They It makes us really sick, okay, first of all. I have a feeling I could have, like, sold this to somebody for more money, but, oh well. It's just some extra money, I guess. Alrighty, so he's gonna go ahead and head home, and I'm gonna skip until they wake up. I hope you guys enjoyed, well, I'm not ending it. What am I talking about? Enjoy day one. <laughs> Alrighty, so it is morning time now, and everybody's awake and getting ready and everything. Um, everybody's pretty hungry, so I decided they'll all go to the cafe this morning and get some food, except Jay, because he can't order, so somebody might just have to order for him. But Joseph is just amazed by the prince or the king, whatever he is, who knows. Alrighty, so, yeah, everybody's gonna head out because they're pretty hungry. And also, a lot of people are like, why is Penelope always wearing the wrong outfit at the wrong time? It's because she's insane. It's what she does. Uh, right now, she has her athletic wear on, but, I mean, it works. Um, it looks like a little explorer outfit. It looks like, you know, it's cute. So, she is gonna go... Go do her, I guess. Yeah. But, uh... He wants to return home. Every journey must eventually come to an end, and your Sims misses the familiar surroundings of home. Sims are able to return home early by making a quick call to the phone, but we're not doing that. Um, we spent too much money to go home early, so you're going to have to deal. Alright, Joseph just, has just vi uh, visited the French Cafe. Awesome. Alrighty, so... Everybody's going to come here and buy some food because everybody is so hungry um, right now, except Jay. I'll probably have Justine order for him and then just order something else for herself. Uh, we will order a bagel. No, breakfast calzone. Yeah. Just, oh, Joseph is ordering. 
Joseph will get, hmm, some cobbler, no, some country bread. Penelope will order, hmm, or, or not, yeah, she's ordering. She'll order some eggs, machelavine, I don't even know, no, some French toast, no. Uh, she's not really hungry, well, she's hungry, but not hungry enough. So, we're ordering some pretty expensive dishes. Um... Justine ordered pizza. Oh, cool, I guess. And Jay's, uh, we'll give him some rat food. Here you go. Here's some rat food. I got these for snacks, but, uh, these will work. Happy he's happy. So, okay. I think everybody's pretty much done eating right now. Um, I think... We will go out and do something, but what is there to do in France? I know in China there's like hot springs and stuff, but here we have the nectary, and I think that's about it uh, for us to really do. We have the museum right here. What else do we have? We have like little parks. We have the cemetery, the cemetery right here. So if you guys hear thunder in the background, sorry about that. Uh, it's pretty annoying, but oh well campground right here oh we should definitely camp out tonight for sure yep here's already one camper and we can probably buy buy another one and see how well we can do with those here's we we have like a bridge i love the china one because it has like the great wall on china quote unquote uh, which i think is pretty neat uh lots and lots of hot air balloons around here Let's see, what can they do? There's really nothing to do in France, which is really disappointing. Um, we'll visit here. Hmm, that's weird. And these two, we'll visit there. Area 80. So they're all gonna head out now. We're all gonna go visit there. And see what's up. Oh, look, they all are getting in the car. Perfect. Well, <laughs> never mind. Justine and Joseph are. Uh, and the rest of them are on their little Kenspas on their way. Look how cute she looks. She looks so happy. <laughs> how does Penelope look back here? Looks just as happy. How does Jay look? He looks happy to be on his little bike because he doesn't have one at home, so he should be happy. Eighty. Can this like thunder seriously go away? It's so annoying. Oh my god, thunder, go away. Okay, what is so great about this place? Like what is there to do? Is it just like a lot that we can just look at? Like what? <laughs> I have no idea. That's what it's looking like. It's just a place that we can look at stuff. Oh no, there's like, oh, okay. This is like, <sighs> okay. We're gonna come over here and inspect this um, and try to get in. Alrighty, this trap, whatever, whatever, attempt to cross it. Ooh, that was so difficult, right? Right. We're gonna go through this door. Go, Justine, go. <laughs> Alright, so I guess now we are in this little place. We're gonna, I guess, go through this door. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're in a house. Oh my gosh, this house actually, weirdly enough, reminds me of The Purge. It looks like there was a fire. <gasps> what the fudge? I didn't even see that, Justine. She singed fear from Tomb Trap, no. She's gonna disarm it, maybe? I don't even know. Inspect it? Poor thing. 
attempt to cross. Oh, she's so scared. She's like, no. She's gonna go through this door. Okay, this one seems a little bit safer. Uh, keystone right there. We can go upstairs, um, maybe. Oh my god! Oh no, I didn't even see that. Okay, she, I need to stop. She's gonna go pass out now. Knocked out various obstacles and tomb uh, wreck havoc on the sim's body. Whatever, whatever. Uh, yeah, so she's just she's just gonna sleep it out. <laughs> Justine is too scared to risk messing with traps right now. Take some time outside or back in a safe area and wait for Justine's moodlet to go away. Oh no! I'm so bad at this. Oh my gosh. I really, really am. This is so bad. I wish she was a kleptomaniac. We could totally steal some of this. Poor Justine. Can we just... Let's go ahead. Just, no, no. Just... Go here and then... Attempt to cross these. Okay. Now, attempt to cross these and get out of there. Poor Justine. They're all like, what just happened to mom? What in the world just happened to mom? Look, she's, look, they look so happy. They're like, yay, mom. Mom got electrocuted. And Jay's just like, ew, bitch, you look ratchet. <laughs> Poor Justine. Oh, my fault. My fault. Okay, uh... I think I'm going to end this part here. I think this is going to be a two-part type of trip. Um, we only have, like, one more day left here. So I think what we're going to do uh, on our last day here, in our last night, I guess, is camp out and stuff like that. And look, here's the hair that you guys really want me to put on Luna. But it's without the bow. So let's see it in game. That's it. It's really pretty. You guys really, really want me to um, put that on her. So I will just do that in the next part. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And like I was saying in the next part, we will totally, totally explore uh, some stuff. And camp out. And it will be a good time. Oh, and we just found some keystones. Awesome. Okay, anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Viva la France. And I'll see you guys <laughs> in the next part. Bye, guys.